Got the moves. <laughs> Marvin, how was today? Today was a blessing. You know, you can only imagine and dream about, you know, days like this, just being able to, you know, come out on your pro day versus, you know, time and just being here with your, you know, old teammates, your coaches, and you just having the scouts out is just a truly blessing. How do you think it went? I think it went amazing. You know, I did pretty good in everything. You know, I wanted to improve in some some areas and definitely did and just balled out completely. What did you improve in? What, what, what um, like or whatever? The vert, the broad, I improved them. Just a lot of jewels overall. Do you pay attention to mock drafts and things like that? <laughs> no, sir, I don't. Have you ever looked at any of them? No, I haven't. I just, you know, I heard like, you know, the scouts, they already know, team scouts and teams, they already know who they want. So. Just sitting down, doing what I can do. You know, I can only control what I can control. Are there any particular teams you feel like you've, you've talked with the most? Uh, no, I think I've probably talked to every team just about the same. Yes, sir. Keep our sanity from not looking at mock drafts or it's on TV, watching his people and else. I always stand humble. You know, I know who I am. I know what I believe in and know what I can do. You know, my mom always keeps me sane as well, you know. She always smacks me if I don't get a little humble, you know. But overall, I just have, you know, a good circle around me. I have good people that always has my back. So just just moving forward and just doing what I can do. Um, just defensive line in general, yes, sir. What are the next steps for you between now and draft day? Just right, getting right back into the bag. Going right back to working out, keeping keeping my head down, staying focused, and just being the best me I can be. You're working out in the first of time. Does, does that kind of give you a little bit of a push to make sure that you're out to the every day? You know, we always compete. We, we competed here for, you know, my three years, and we continue to compete every single day. So it's just, you know, having my brothers right next to me is also a blessing because not everybody can do that. Not everybody can say they, you know, played three whole seasons with their brothers and, you know, worked out with them and throughout this process and, you know, just been together as a whole, together, uh, throughout the whole entire time. Yes, sir. You know, my film speaks for itself and, you know, I feel like I've displayed myself in a very, in an extremely good way here today and at the Combine as well. So just looking forward to what comes next. What does it mean when you see uh, some of your younger teammates here or, or Kelly? Let me say, yeah, that, you know, it's a truly a blessing. You know, they encourage me. You know, they, I got good, good luck texts from everybody. And just, you know, just being out here with them, just watching me just shows that, like, you know, I have support. So has your weight and strength changed since the end of the season? Or are you at the same uh, playing weight, got the same strength? What about all that? Uh, I, I, I weight the same, but, like, Fat has gone down, muscle has gone up, so just do my body good overall. Barb, I probably asked you a good question. You finally tell us about it. Nah, it's too late. You asked you ask in the wrong time. <laughs> Should have asked right after the LSU game, I would have told you. <laughs> Anything else? Barb, right, thanks. Thank you very much. God bless you.